Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to do a review about a really hyped product and I received a lot of comments down below that you want me guys to uh, show you this product, to review it for you guys and do a first impression. So I thought what a better idea to do this right now. I ordered it online but it took a really long time to come here and it actually came two days ago so I haven't touched it until now. I'm talking about the La Mer foundation so this one is the La Mer the soft fluid long wear foundation I'm going to do like this to see if the camera can focus on it it doesn't so if you guys are interested let's keep watching so guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on my social media accounts. I have two Instagram accounts. I will link it down below. And without further ado, let's do it. So I bought the La Mer, the soft fluid foundation um, and at the Douglas website, a Swiss website. And it took a really long time to come here. I think it was like one week uh, and it's, I don't know why but it took a very very long time and when it came I was so excited because you guys asked me a lot of time to, to try and review this product um, and I also was really really interesting about it I have been thinking about this product for the longest time but because of the price I always waited and waited so the product is the soft fluid longwear foundation with SPF 20 and I have it in the color uh, 180 uh, linen. So I don't know if this color is gonna match me, maybe it's too, too uh, light for me, but we're gonna try and we're gonna see how it is. It has inside one ounce of a product or 30 milliliters of a product. And I'm just gonna see what uh, they say on the La Mer website, exactly what the product is. So, uh, the details said that it's like a weightless texture meet luxurious long wear. This one is the new soft fluid long wear foundation, SPF 20, uh, seamlessly blends soft color, healing, hydration and miracle broth. Um, it also said that it pores, looks refined, imperfection virtually disappears. Um, it has SPF and antioxidants that helps protect a newly flawless complexion. And what else it says? Um, you have When you use it, you have to shake it well. So we're gonna do that. And layer as desired. Yes. So this is what it says. Um, at the beginning, when the La Mer launched the La Mer Foundation, it didn't have a lot of color range, so that was really, really bad. Um, I think they have like four or five colors, so it was not enough. And now I think they have expanded. They have right now 28 shades, so that's kind of really good. Of course, they could do it even better, but uh, it's good that they have, um, they have been reading comments that they do have to expand their range so that's really good so for today um i prep my skin and i just use la mer products because we're gonna do a la mer review so uh, for my eyes i use the eye balm um, intense from la mer this one is a really really good product um it takes away puffiness under the eyes it also refines wrinkles and it gives this uh, extra hydration under the eye area and I have been using this puzzle for the longest time and I can't rave enough about this. I think I prefer this one to the Eye Concentrate from La Mer. I think this one is really, really good. Then for the serum, I have been using the La Mer The Concentrate because today I was a little bit puff and I have a little bit of redness on my skin. So that's why I used this one. Really good product. I, I mean, it's amazing. I love it. Then I use the hydration and the one that I use is the La Mer, the moisturizing cool gel cream. And this one is also the most amazing um, cooling effect gel cream. I always use it during summer and uh, spring and it hydrates the skin so, so much. So this one also, such a good product. 
and for my lips of course I went in with the La Mer lip balm because you guys know I love this product I swear at this product so let's check the foundation so the color I said it before that I use is the color 180 linen I hope it's not too uh, light for me I have a little bit of discoloration here up on on the neck and it's because of my bad self tan so that's my own fault I just did a really bad self tan and that's what happened um, so the product looks very luxurious it's in glass and it's very heavy and I think I think they change actually because before it didn't actually look like this but the whole um, bottle is opaque let me see if the camera can pick it up but I mean look how gorgeous this one is so let's shake it well and let's see how it is so if I look down here it's because I have a mirror so that's why it's a build of a foundation I heard it's like a lightweight foundation so I think it's light uh, coverage but you can build it up to medium if you want to so let's see if it actually do that so now you see that I pull put my I pull my hair back so you guys can see so let's shake it first well the foundation so good I will put some amount on the beauty blender I'm just gonna go in with the beauty blender because I am a beauty blender girl I don't use the brush for the foundation so let's just see how it looks uh, okay for the color I think we're pretty good match I don't feel like it's too light or too dark and what I see is that it actually has a really beautiful coverage I didn't expect that I thought it was just a lightweight foundation but to be honest I feel like it really covers up I have here some blemishes and it really covers pretty good i never thought that good i do use a lot of product girl just so you guys know <laughs> let's do the other side yeah i feel like the color is pretty good i could have gone one more dark but i'm really happy with the color choice that i made You guys see how my scale looks and I also didn't want to say a difference between the brush and the beauty blender because I am a beauty blender girl so I feel like if it doesn't work for me with a beauty blender it will never work because I don't use the brush for the foundation <laughs> so I have to be honest I really like it the smell of it uh, it's not a typical La Mer smell I would not say that but it's pleasant it's not overpowering um, it's a light kind of um, smell or perfume so I do like it so so far so good let's put some more on the forehead And also on the eye, I always try to prep my eyelid with foundation at the beginning. And neck, never forget the neck. So let's see what I think about this product it goes very like very light on the skin it blends pretty well it also feels very like coverage because it does cover quite a bit but it's not overpowering it's not cakey at all 
and to be honest I see that it has cover blemishes but it still feels like this is my own skin it doesn't feel like it's just a foundation but I do see that you can cover it up and do more layers to make it more um, like a build it coverage if you lay it up I mean I'm quite impressed with it so far so good so now I'm gonna go in with the concealer and I don't have the La Mer concealer but I do have my favorite Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one is in the color uh, Light Medium Honey. So it's a little bit lighter than the one that I usually go for. I usually go with the medium, but now I'm kind of light. So I thought, why not use a lighter one? You guys see that it's very light. Let's see how it blends with other products that are not La Mer products, you know? So, today's a very beautiful day. Today it's Saturday. No, sorry, Sunday. I'm, I'm so confused. Today is Sunday and I really want to go out. I think it's really beautiful weather today. So I think we're going to go to the lake and just enjoy ourselves. It will be such a beautiful day. So I can't wait to just get ready and then go to the lake. Take a drink. Oh, it's amazing. Now the lockdown it's getting like now that the lockdown for us it's it's over like not really over but we're like we're able to go to restaurants and of course not a lot of people can sit with one another i think it's maximum four uh, but it's like me and my husband so it's okay <laughs> we're just two um but it's like we are kind of back into normality and that's so beautiful like oh, especially now when the weather is getting hotter and you really want to go out and just take a walk or sit on in a bar and take a drink now it's actually possible so that's beautiful so i feel like the the concealer really blends well with the foundation i mean it looks to be honest flawless it looks really flawless my favorite foundation right now is your backstage you guys saw that i bought it in my one of my last videos about the quarantine beauty haul that I did and I adore this the product so much it's a little bit too dark for me but for some it will be perfect uh, but I love the coverage I love how flawless it looks on the skin but this one is also pretty good like I'm impressed what I didn't mention guys it's the retail price for the La Mer foundation it's about a hundred Swiss francs and it's a lot of money. It's a lot, a lot of money. That's why I was debating for the longest time to buy this product. Uh, but I was lucky enough to um, buy it with 30% off because Douglas website, especially the Swiss one, has really, really good sales. They always have 20% off, 30% off. And I usually buy all my stuff, all my beauty stuff, when Douglas has a percent so for this product I bought it for 30% off so that's why I bought it but it's very very expensive so it's not that good that this could be one of my favorite foundation because it's actually too expensive to use it to be honest if I love this product so much I will not use it daily I will probably use it for really good occasions like weddings um, or baptism or like dinner out like special dinner out yeah so far i have to say that the concealer blends really well with the foundation so that's amazing and i really want to see now how it will blend with the powder the baking powder so the powder that I'm gonna use the baking powder I'm gonna use is Huda Beauty easy bake loose baking and setting powder in the color pound cake looks like this it's kind of beaten again it's kind of beaten because I've been using it so so much but it's this product right here yeah and it's pretty good for baking so that's why I want to use this one 
sorry guys my nails are really bad right now i need to i need to do a manicure as soon as possible so i'm sorry about that so here you have the easy bake i'm just gonna go under my eye first it looks pretty good hopefully it doesn't look cakey afterwards I'm just gonna go under the cheek. Perfect. Sorry, I need to concentrate. <laughs> That's good. So. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do off camera the, um, the last things of the makeup and then I will be right back with the, my review and my first impressions on this product. So guys, now I'm back. I did all my makeup. Do you guys see it? So I am done with my makeup and I have to be honest. The makeup went on so well on the skin. Like all the other product lay, layer down really, really good. You guys can see I have my um, contouring, my blush and my highlight. And it's amazing how, look it, how good it looks. It's very flawless on the skin, the foundation. For me personally, because I layered up a little bit, it's kind of a medium foundation, like a medium coverage foundation. And I mean, the color is really good. I could have done one more shade up to make it a little bit darker, but it looks really good. I also saw that the La Mer product has inside the Miracle Broth. That means that it's not just a foundation, but it also has skincare products inside so it's very good for the skin as well so probably that's why it's also so expensive as a foundation but to be honest i'm so sad to say that but this foundation is so good i don't know how long it's gonna last on the skin also because it's a lightweight foundation but i like what i see i feel like it looks really really good like it not it doesn't look cakey at all um, the pores are also not as big they are reduced and I mean it's amazing that you do have like a two-in-one products because it's not just a makeup um, item but it also is a skincare items so of course it's gonna be more expensive and you do something good also for your skin and your skin is also gonna breathe and it's not gonna clog on pores um yeah do i recommend this foundation to be honest i do recommend this foundation i think if you guys um love a lightweight foundation that can build up until medium coverage and you do love this flawless look I think you do got you you do need this product in your collection if you are a makeup addict as me uh, I do feel like I will not wear this one daily because of how expensive it is but I do suggest it for special occasions like I think this one for a wedding you as a bride having this foundation I think it will look amazing on the skin and also for yourself you want to go uh, to dinner with your husband or you just for special occasions I think you guys will love this product so yeah I'm so sad to say that I adore this product and I will keep using it and if I don't like it as much after I will guys let you know but for now I love it so much and yeah I'm just so sad because it's very expensive the good thing is is also SPF 20 that means that it's very good for your skin also against UV uh, lights so yeah I'm so sorry but I do have to recommend this one for you guys I love this product so so much 
Thank you so much guys, that was it for my YouTube video. If you guys like it, click a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I will really, really appreciate it. If you guys wanna see some other reviews on La Mer products, just let me know. Write me down below and I will answer you as soon as I see it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye guys.